With an intense heat wave now baking much of the country, power grids from coast to coast are stretched to their limits. The good news, though, is that the growth of renewable energy like solar and wind means that there's more power available. But as former CCOer and CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy reports, the renewable revolution will require a lot of batteries. Did you ever think you'd be working next to solar panels all day? I did not. It's a much more peaceful environment. Rachel Harper used to work in the oil and gas industry in Texas. And now you're in renewable energy. Yes, big like, pivot. Do you like this better? I like this way better. She's now at a startup in California called B2U. It takes the still usable batteries out of older electric vehicles, slides them into large racks. Plug and play. Simple as that. And then plugs them into solar panels so they can store solar power. We're basically a retirement home for these EV batteries. You're basically just using these as storage. Yes, battery storage. Battery storage is what allows renewable energy to provide power even when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. It's key to making the electrical grid reliable as we transition away from coal and gas and their planet warming emissions. Batteries can also help keep the lights on when heat waves like the one roasting the West this week batter the grid. It's like the Swiss army knife of the electricity sector. As director of energy storage and systems at UC San Diego, Mike Ferry is at the forefront of battery technology. So this is where we're really inventing the next generation of batteries. He says batteries are getting better and costs are dropping. That's allowed California to install more than 10,000 megawatts of battery storage, equivalent to the output of about five nuclear power plants. California and Texas account for nearly all of the battery storage in the nation and have more than any other country except for China. This year, 81 percent of all new capacity on our national grid is going to be solar and storage. And these two technologies go hand in hand sort of like chocolate and peanut butter. Nationwide, solar power is the fastest growing form of renewable energy, but still accounts for only about 5% of electricity generated. In California, it's nearly 30%, thanks to massive new projects like this one in the Mojave Desert. Its two million panels near Edwards Air Force Base can be seen from space. These are all full of batteries? They're all full of batteries, as many as we can put in them. Gus Luna is chief development officer for TerraGen, which built the more than 4,000-acre site, now the largest solar storage facility in the country, enough to power about a quarter million homes. This really is what's going to make renewable energy work. Correct. Without this, I think renewable energy would hit a limit fairly quickly. California, the fifth largest economy in the world, aims to run on 100% renewable energy by 2045. You'll probably need something like another 20, maybe 30 more of these projects to be able to reach that. Because to truly make all those panels and turbines work, you need batteries included. For Ion America, I'm Ben Tracy in the Mojave Desert.